Hey guys, so this is how I spray painted my end dressers um, metallic silver with Bristolium spray paint. This is a two part video, so this is the first part of what you can do with it. I did a second part. Um, so I removed the knobs that these drawers came with, and these knobs didn't come off like really well, so I had to step them off. Yeah, and when I stepped them off, they popped out really good. I did use an 80 grit and a 270 grit sandpaper. The little paint you do see on these two dresser drawers um, were test paint of what I wanted these drawers to be. Um, and if you want to keep it the silver metallic and not do the second part, I'm going to show you later in the video. You want to make sure you sand those paint drips down very well. I had a couple of that on my drawers when I was test painting them. But that is the 220 grip sandpaper that I'm about to go in with once I open the packet. That's why it's this long pause. There you go. Then I'm dropping it. this. <laughs> so now I'm just sanding it down and I'm I sent it down as good as I can on camera. Off camera, I sent it more. Um, so don't judge me and say you didn't send it well on camera. It, it, it's kind of hard filming by yourself when you ain't got nobody <laughs> helping you. And then I used the microfiber cloth to wipe all the dust and sand off. I used two because I wanted to make sure I got all the dust and sand off. I was trying to show you see the dust and sand, but you can't even see it in the camera. I could see it, but you couldn't. But whatever. <laughs> so now I'm setting it up to get spray painted with the Rustoleum metallic finish silver so spray paint. Um, I would say you would need two of these cans if you're doing more than one of these drawers. One of these end table drawers are good enough for one can. But I did two of them, so you would need two cans. And right away, as you can see, the paint, the spray paint covered this well. And it mainly covered it well, I believe, is because it had the white base under it from the previous owner who had these. But if I didn't tell you, I got these from Restore for $25 a pop. So that was $50 for both, which was a good deal. And I only spent, I want to say, another $30 on all the materials. So I spent about $80 for two drawers for this. For this design that I accomplished. And I like it. So in this clip, you see me sand. I tried to give you some more sanding on camera. <laughs> yeah. So that's me using the 80 grit right there, making sure all the sides is really good. This furniture didn't actually have a lot of dent or nook into it like in um, all my other furnitures I got from like Goodwill or Restore previously. This was very good actually taken care of. I just wanted to send it down because it had paint already on it and I wanted to make sure my paint was sticking and everything else I was going to do to it stick very well but yeah then I um again wipe the dust off yeah I used to I believe microfiber cloth microfiber cloth towels said that wrong look at me <laughs> so yeah there you go the second towel all right I believe after this in the next part I grabbed the spray paint yep I shook up the spray paint just a little bit and then I sprayed it um the top very well and the sides I spray painted it very well and again this piece took well to the, the paint just like the drawers did because it was white and the white paint made it take this paint very well so yeah and then I sprayed it the sides, sprayed it, <laughs> sprayed the sides um, of the top, and then I ended up flipping 
this dresser on the side. It's a cardboard on the back, so I was never going to spray the cardboard. But I wanted to get inside the nick and cranny of the opening part where the dresser sits. And to do that well without bending over too much, and especially on camera, <laughs> I wanted to flip it down. So you, that's specific, so you didn't see me bend over too much in the camera. And so I got inside, and I just made sure I moved around good enough to get inside. And it was very windy this day, so you, as you can see, my like turf is lifting and everything. I did tape it down, but some areas it's picking up. So yeah, this part you don't have to do. I would suggest don't do it because after I did it, I ended up flipping it back over anyways on top because I was like, oh, that was stupid. Why did I do that? <laughs> and then I go back in just to make sure some of the pieces are good. Uh, right there, I saw some drip. So I end up wiping it down with my member five cloth towel and just respray painting it. So this is how it looks after being spray painted fully. You don't see no drips, no nothing. It's very seamless. It does have like a little bubbling. I didn't really wrap because I have a second part that is about to show in a few minutes. But if you didn't want that, you may want to make sure you get that down good. Also, these are the drawers, how they look. Completely done. So this is what you would need for the mirror part. I did not show the mirror and breaking on camera, and I didn't also show the mirror on camera. I don't know why I didn't do neither one of those. Don't ask me. But <laughs> I am cleaning the drawer off. I cleaned everything off with a with an all-purpose cleaner in my book town and then I use the grit I don't even know why I didn't show you the grouting jar but I will link it what I use but I take the round it and put the jars make sure when you're using your mirror pieces be careful be safe with that because they are mirror and they're real clutchy but also make sure you spread enough big and small pieces around I did also top grout this too so and what I used was a two-in-one grouting and gritting thing, but I did not show you any grouting on camera. I don't know why. It was messy, so probably that's why I didn't want to. But this is a shot of it, of the furniture. I also got these knots from Amazon. They were eight for ten. I will link that below. <laughs> 